The month of Ramadan just started. That's the blessed period of fast, charity and prayer for Muslims that are more than 3.5 million in the US and in growing number. Shaheen Akhtar, a member of the Islamic Center of Boston, shares the meaning of this special time. Uh, and during this month, it is obligatory on all adult Muslims, if they are in good health, to, um, to fast from dawn to sunset which means abstaining from eating, drinking, um, smoking, and uh, sexual activities during the fasting hours. But fasting for more than 14 hours per day, it's not an easy task, especially for international students like Madiha Goma from Egypt, that for the first time found herself living Ramadan in a non-Muslim culture. So uh, this is my first Ramadan in the U.S. and I would say it's quite a challenge because Ramadan vibes and the atmosphere does not exist. Uh, everyone is eating and drinking around you and like you need to practice self-control. According to a publication to Open Journals in Education, most Muslim international students in the U.S. encounter difficulties to practice their prayers and traditions, especially for the lack of the sense of community. Rashik Mondira, graduate students from Bangladesh, shares her story. So it's a bit, it's a different kind of experience because mostly because I come from a Muslim majority country, so it's like a festival around there. The whole Ramadan month is festival. Everyone's like participating. It's a whole community thing. It's a very magical experience. But here, it's not like that. Even though it's not like that. The spirit of Ramadan is very much alive. Ramadan Mubarak to all Muslim students. It's Pietro Rossini, reporting for BUTV 10.